I've been told someone tagged Scotty on the side of the family property. Is it the day to come clean for something that I didn't do? Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it really blew my mind. Career highlights and more with your favorite winter athletes. This is On The Line. All right, Scotty, how you doing, mate? I'm doing well. Uh, you know, I, I must admit, all I can think about is snowboarding at this, uh, this point in time. Last time I was on the board was US Open, so it's been a minute. What have you been up to um, to stay sane? Uh, my house has probably never been this clean ever, but you know, I've also been selfishly enjoying a bit of time back in Australia, which I, I haven't had much of over the past, you know, 10 years. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of cycling, a bit of surfing, um, just, training. Doing some house renovations as well? Uh, it's been a bit of fun building out a gym, which has always been a bit of a goal of mine, like kind of have my own set up and uh, built it in my shed. And yeah, I mean, it's been coming coming together quite well. Uh, Dad kind of really built the whole thing, honestly. So thanks to him. But, oh, so um, is it one of those yeah. relationships where, where you've been building the gym, but uh, but actually dad's been doing it and yeah, you're, sort of, you're I, posting I, it as if you've, you've claimed it? <laughs> Exactly right. That's the only way to do it. Stood on the side and recorded as if I've been doing uh, anything, but I actually haven't done much at all. So you're under me, Henry. <laughs> Nothing gets past me, mate. Seems like you've been getting uh, getting your golf skills up to up to scratch as well. Yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. Basically, Sean and I would be like, let's see if we can do this. Hit it through the stairs, from the kitchen, outside, downstairs. Yeah, so I've been having a lot of fun with that. What for you have been your highlights of your career? My parents really saw how much I loved snowboarding. And, you know, that basically entailed me to be away from Australia kind of eight months of the year to kind of go and go and pursue snowboarding like I have. When I'm at competitions, seeing them um, at the bottom or having them around in this kind of environment that, you know, we didn't even know would really come to fruition. So that's very like, kind of a highlight for me and you know, I've met some pretty awesome people over the journey had some you know really cool highlighted moments you know going heli boarding and you know riding some of the best terrain and you know going and traveling some pretty special places I mean there's countless highlights I can say you mentioned family of course over the last few years your brothers have been an integral part of uh, another <laughs> side of your snowboard career, of course, All Day SJ, one of the most successful web series that's ever gone in the snowboard world. Take me through some of the highlights of All Day SJ. You know, we didn't want to just do like a kind of another, you know, nine to five, what I eat for breakfast, go up the mountain, go compete and like do all that kind of stuff. I wanted to like put a spin on it. So we put our heads together and came up with uh, QP Sports Management, who is uh, Quinton Peck, who is my elder brother, Tim, who is a somewhat failing manager. Oh, don't, ruin, but don't, sat don't, manage ruin, don't ruin the surprise there, Scott. Don't tell him it's your brother. <laughs> Endemic sports knowledge quiz. Okay, so snowball base. Who invented the backside rodeo? Ah, oh, damn it. Is it David Be Benedict? No. <laughs> who does the best frontside 360 indies? Mikel Bang. No. You can't do a front three, Indy, there's no such thing. Trick question oh, there, you... got you there, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> How many medals in total have been awarded in the Olympics for snowboarding freestyle events? I would have no idea, um, 20? It's 54, Scotty, 54. <laughs> <laughs> Who was Australia's youngest winter Olympic athlete ever to compete? Male or female? Male. Me. <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> We're gonna find out what Scotty James would you rather. Have a cartoon wink sound like ding every time you winked or a gun sound every time you point a gun at someone. Gun. <laughs> yep. <laughs> never ride a half pipe again or never mm. ride powder again. Oh man. Uh, okay, I'd have to say powder. Finger sized nipples or okay. nipple sized fingers. Okay. <laughs> so it took me a second to put that together. Finger-sized nipples for sure. Be considered the most stylish rider of all time in the pipe, 
but never win a contest again, but still compete, or mm. win every contest for the rest of your career, but be considered rather unstylish. I'm in a position right now, honestly, in the second part, I don't think I have great style. Like I watch guys and I'm like, oh, they have amazing style. Right now in this moment, the winning part, because that's where my head's at. But in the future, probably go down the style part. Is it true that you spend more time on realestate.com than Instagram? True. Favorite movies to watch on long distance flights? Disney films. Surf's Up's my favorite. And, and a good story in there, actually thinking about, you know, half pipe or, um, you know, style or not style, whatever, is that in that film they talk about he doesn't let him go surfing until he's having fun. And he doesn't let him go surfing until he puts a smile on his face and enjoys it, which is important in uh, the snowboarding world too. So, so I like that movie. I've been told someone tagged Scotty on the side of the family property. Um, Would you like to use this opportunity to come clean, Scotty? Is it the day to come clean for something that I didn't do? Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was quite young at the time, um, and my dad believes that I my hand write, the handwriting on the side of the house was too good for me. So, and I agree with him. So I don't know why someone else would have written my name in spray paint on the side of our house. I just never would, never would have done that. I was, I was too good of a kid. <laughs> Okay, so you're holding strong to the story. It wasn't you. It wasn't me. <laughs> One final challenge for you. Oh, some crackers. Jacob's cream crackers. What is that, tiramisu? <laughs> Eat the tiramisu in as fast a time as you can, yep. or you're going to eat as many cream crackers as you can in 10 seconds and then whistle the Australian national anthem. I'm going the crackers. Go. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Come on, we want to see some spray. It's extremely dry. You can try and sing it if you want, if whistling's not an option. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us, Scotty. Yeah, great to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, Scotty James. Thanks, Scotty. See you later. Cheers, guys.